Welcome, fellow Toastmasters. For, welcome, guests, and thank you for joining us as well. Toastmasters, I hope it will be a uh, fun experience for you to learn about public speaking, and it has been for me. Today, I'm going to talk about this idea of celebrity. Now, I'm sure everyone here knows, can name maybe up to 10 celebrities. How many, how many celebrities do you think you actually know? Five, 10, 20? Uh, Lots, yes. <laughs> Who's your favorite celebrity? Call us celebrities. J Lo. J Lo. <laughs> any others? David Beckham. David Beckham. Yeah, any other ones? Clint Eastwood. Clint Eastwood, all right. <laughs> <laughs> any other ones? Angelina Jolie. Angelina Jolie. Oh, Stone. <laughs> so, I'm going to move this chart here, and I'm going to write three things what I'm going to cover. First is, what is a celebrity? Okay, and then secondly, I'm going to talk about how is this concept of celebrity changing? So what's changing about celebrities right now? And that will even include the concept of how someone such as yourself could become a micro-celebrity? A little mini version of a celebrity to have influence in some area and an audience. And finally, if you want to become a celebrity, a little mini celebrity, here's some advice <laughs> on what you can, what's a good way to do it, and how you should use your newfound influence and power. So, uh, advice. Okay. So. We, we, have, we have some nice examples of what a celebrity is, like who are these people? And we all know who they are. So one thing that's important about celebrity, if you want to be a celebrity, you have to have an audience, people to know who you are. It's pretty much the biggest thing you need to have. Another thing you should have is a personality and a story. So everyone who is a celebrity, you, ha you know something about them, where they came from, you know, what they're famous for, did they, act in a movie? Did they play a really good song that everyone liked? Or did they, was also a negative celebrity? Did they do a horrible crime or something? That's another kind of celebrity which I don't want to advise you to do. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I don't think so. <laughs> so a celebrity has a story, they have an audience, they have a personality. Another thing they have is they have the power to get their message out to a lot of people. It's the influence, ability to influence others. And other people will listen to them if they have something to say. So, a couple examples of this. Um, Ashton Kutcher is a famous celebrity. He has, how many celebrities, how many people follow him? He has 18 million followers. And in July, I'll pass this around, in July, the, Los Angeles Police Department asked Ashton Kutcher, Do you, can you please send a message to all your followers that we're actually closing this very large strip of highway in Los Angeles for a whole weekend. And if we don't get the message out, then everyone will get in a huge traffic jam and it'll be horrible. So Ashton Kutcher posted, LAPD asked me to tweet, 405 highway between 10 and 101 will be closed July 16th to 17th in exchange I would like a free pass on that stoplight ticket. It was yellow. <laughs> so here you go. This shows that celebrities are becoming even more influential than news media, right? Because sometimes a celebrity can get a message out when someone like the news announcer might not be able to reach as many people as fast. What is changing about celebrity? I'll move on to number two. Change? How much time have we got? Oh, let's see. Still good? Okay. Change, what's changing about celebrity? Well, everyone here has heard of YouTube, I'm assuming. Who hasn't heard of YouTube? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Who hasn't heard of SAP? <laughs> Great, I'm going to ask those questions because I know it's important to ask. With YouTube, you can have the ability to post a video and get immediately a small audience. And then if your content is resonating with people, you can get a very big audience. Just think of the uh, newfound celebrity that were newly made in the last um, 10 years, like Justin Bieber, who started from nothing with just posting a bunch of, probably his parents posted videos of him singing and playing guitar. 
Anyways, you can become a celebrity too, if in a small way. Like I have a channel on YouTube. Oh, I've been growing it over the past year, and now I have around 147 followers or subscribers. And I think compared to Ashton Kutcher's 8 million, it's kind of a different scale. But even still, I have some ability to get my ideas out there, reach an audience, and get a message out there. One example is back in 2010, the provincial government decided they were going to ban the light bulb. You can only use compact fluorescent bulbs. I got really annoyed by this because I like you know the warm light of the incandescent bulb. So I wrote, I posted a video where I talked about light bulbs and how I think we should have the ability to choose what light bulb we want. So last year, last summer, the government this kind of added to the growing chorus of people saying we want our light bulbs back. <laughs> of course, it's a small little issue, but the government decided they're going to allow people to buy regular light bulbs for another four years. So some advice for budding celebrities. Be true to yourself. If you decide who you want to be and put yourself out there how you really want, then let people come to you. Don't try to seek out an audience and say, I want people to be to like me, so I'm going to do what they want. My advice is be who you want to be. And another advice is think about how you can impact the world in a positive way. If you, even if you're a micro-celebrity, are you doing something that helps the world run better? SAP. So, in conclusion, celebrity is admired, they have an audience, they have a story, they have influence. Ordinary people can get their message out there to YouTube and other ways like that. And if you're an aspiring celebrity, help the world run better and be true to yourself. Thank you.